You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face to Brockton cable viewers, um, John Drasinskis. Hey, John. How hey, are you? How you doing, Mark? I'm good. Glad, now, glad to be here once, once again. Different hat. Okay. You're not running for office. Right. You're involved in a lot of different community organizations, and one of them is the Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association. That's correct. Okay. And Lynn Smith, who's very involved in that with a lot of others, Lynn works at Oak Colony Elderly, and she's at work, so right. she couldn't come. She's she's a regular, she's a frequent flyer on here. Yep. Uh, she might have the most runs. I'm not sure. I'm so, I'm sort of pinch hitting. For You're her pinch today. hitting. Yes. But you got a great event. The Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association has the community garden over on Frederick Douglass Ave, right near Warren Ave. Yep. And you guys formerly are, High Street. Right. For for us old folks. Right. Yeah. It could be High Street all over again, but that's a whole other story. Right. We won't talk about that. Right. Spring Garden Event, Plant and mm -hmm. Seed Swap, Sunday, May 6th, 1230 to 3. Yep. Tell us about it. Well, um, this is actually the third um, swap that we're doing. We tried it. Um, we tried something new uh, the first year, and it worked out so well, we're doing it again. Uh, and we plan on having uh, an annual event, uh, Plant and Seed Swap, at the, at the garden. Um, in early spring, as, as you said, it's May 6, 12.30 to 3. We have um, the South Shore Gardening cl Club coming. The, we have um, the farm from Stonehill. They'll have free plants there. We have uh, the Brockton, uh, Brockton Garden Club, who's, um, whose work is evidenced all around the city. Uh, they, they do uh, a lot of uh, nice flowers and landscaping work at a lot of public buildings. Two that I can think of are the Brockton City Hall and War Memorial Building. And the library. And the library, yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we have beekeepers there, okay, which is very, uh, very interesting. Bristol County Beekeeping Association will be there. Um, it's, um, I suspect they will be selling honey and uh, talking about um, bees and their effect on the envi environment. A lot of people confuse bees with, with wasps and hornets, and it's, it's, uh, they're, they're, it, they're two different, or well, three different things, okay? Uh, bees are very pr uh, productive, and um, you know, they help with the environment. Uh, we have the um, Brockton area NAACP will be talking about men's prostate cancer. Um, they'll be, um, uh, they'll have a table there. We also have um, Rob May and, um, I forget his name, uh, John Von Kuyken, I believe. Um, Never been able to say that, okay. so you're better than me. Okay. Uh, Who John, do a wonderful job with the farmer's market. Right, the right. Yeah, John does the uh, farmer's market. Rob will be talking more or less about the um, greening of the gateway cities. What that is, is, uh, and we've actually started to hear here in Brockton, uh, in Campello, uh, giving trees away, uh, free trees for the people that, that uh, qualify for them. And uh, there'll be arts and crafts for the kids, so we'll have something to keep them busy. And the, the whole concept is if you, if you bring a plant, you can, ex you can take a plant home, uh, either vegetable or flowering mm -hmm. plant. And um, we also have, um, uh, next to the garden is what's called a little free library, and that's another one of Lynn Smith's ideas. If you donate two free books to that library, you can also take a plant home. So it's, it's a... A, a big event. Uh, it was well attended the past two years, and um, you know whether the weather will cooperate or not. That's you know it's ten days from now. It's tough to say, but um, it's a rain or shine event. It okay. says if there's a soft rain, carry on as we're under a tent. Right. Only way it's getting canceled is if the high winds. Right. Right. If it's high winds, it's it becomes a safety factor, and you don't want uh, tents and lawn chairs and other things blowing around you know so uh, that's the only time we'll postpone so you guys got a good group of people you got a good core of volunteers oh, ex excellent i know people. that i think on keep rock and beautiful day they just did a clean up there so yes, the, they it, did. it's all new and refreshed yeah. unfortunately i had another event that day i wasn't able to participate but they they um they fixed up the garden it was in pretty rough shape over the winter okay the winter did a quite a job on it but uh now it looks like it's the middle of summer there. And you can get a history lesson while you're there because all the in information about Frederick Douglass and Absolutely. others is right up there. Yes, for the it, people that don't know, Frederick Douglass was a uh, famous abolitionist that uh, spoke here in Brockton. Brockton was one of his stops. Uh, the street, formerly High Street, is named after him and is actually um, what's called a liberty tree uh, there. And uh, supposedly he spoke under that tree. 
So and it's kind of coming back. This sprouting from the it's sprouting, tree had yes. to be cut down, unfortunately. Yeah. But there were clones of it in different places. There's one at the historical society. Yes, there and is. If yeah. you look at it, there's signs of life popping out of it. So yes. all yeah. we need going forward is to get that street revitalized and get things back on track. Yep. And which they're working on. They're really, working on slowly yes. but surely. Yes. Um, yep. You know, it's always my hope uh, that we'll see. That whole, I remember when I was a kid, there was central music there and there was all sorts of amazing things. The Art Deco yep. building that was too far gone. Yes. But, um, you know, it's nice to see the garden. It's nice to see the people involved in the garden down the other end of the street, right near the old Brockton High, which is, uh, you know, uh, still a school to this right. day. And uh, it's just well taken care of. Um, all these groups getting together, you know, it's, it's good to... Um, um, one of them that I noticed, the farm at Stonehill, I, 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 they're, they're wonderful. They're the ones that are providing the free plants and seeds, correct? That, that's, that's correct. Okay. And, and this is, uh, I just want to mention, this is all quality stuff. This is not the, the withered uh, dry plants you see at a big box store. Right. This is all quality uh, merchandise, all quality plants, vegetables, and flowers. Look at anything you see, Lynn you and others involved in its quality, okay? Yep. All these groups, the Brockton Garden Club, you can't say enough good things about them, right. what they do to beautify the city. And other people are coming in, they're recognizing that Brockton is a, you know, right in the middle of the urban center of Brockton is a beautiful garden that right. people take pride in and, and work with. You know, I, I've heard a lot of artists, out-of-towners say there's, there's, there's nothing to do in Brockton. Why, why should I come to Brockton? Well, here's an example, here's a free event Okay, it's a community event, it's family friendly, uh, free parking, plenty of parking across, right across the street, and uh, this is an example of, of what we do here in the city. Well, thanks for doing it, thanks for being a community volunteer, you've got a good group, and I think Lynn will be real happy. That's I hope we're so, here. I hope so. Thank okay. you, John, I appreciate okay, you yeah, being you're here. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you for having me, Mark. Glad to. Yep. Um, you are watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.